Hello folks, welcome to Toy Reel. I'm Jason the Bruce, and today we're going to be checking out another toy from the Beast Box line. We're checking out Schlegel. So Schlegel, 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 not 100% sure how that's supposed to be said. Let me know in the comments. Um, if it's a band reference, I don't know what it is. A lot of these toys are, actually. Um, if you didn't know that, there's your information for the day. From what I understand, the transformation on this particular one is essentially identical to the shark. I haven't played with either of them at this stage. This is also one of the earlier Beast Boxes, um, so it'll be interesting to see how it holds up in that regard. So, this is the box for Schlegel, or at least that's how I'm choosing to pronounce it. If I'm wrong, obviously somebody will correct me. Uh, this is not the first release of the crocodile slash alligator that we've had. As you can see, this is BB15CL. I don't know what CL stands for, uh, but the reason I chose this one over the normal one is that colouring-wise, he looks more like a real croc than the bright yellow and green one that we see otherwise, which is fine. On the top, Beast Box. On the side, we have another picture. On the other side, we have representations of its Beast Mode and its Box Mode. And then on the back, we have a picture of what it looks like in colour. We have our instructions, and we have a map of what looks like a zoo. This must be a map of their world, or at least a section of their world, I, I would imagine. And then on the back, we get your obligatory product shots, um, which is very reminiscent of the sort of catalogues that we would have gotten uh, in the 80s, which is awesome. Another catalogue, I'm not going to show this one off too highly. This is a much more modern one, uh, because we have much, much more modern uh, toys that certainly did not exist back in the days of BB-15. Um, Truth be told, I don't actually use these. What this is supposed to be is that you fold this in half and now that sits in the back of your box charger so that when you open it, it just springs out the toy. Uh, it's a really cool, simple concept. I haven't been using them. Uh, I know most people do. And we have the card. Nice, thick stock. Lovely image. So it's a version of the same image that came on the box, but we have this lovely background rather than the semi-cut-out version. This is the full version of the artwork, basically. I love the versions of these that come with proper, full-on art. It's just much nicer. Uh, we have... Oh, my Lord. So this is obviously meant to be representing an actual real animal. So this is how it comes in the box. Obviously, we have our box charger. We know how this works. Otherwise, we have Schlegel himself. And we have two fish. See-through plastic on the fish. Detail's quite nice. And Schlegel actually comes out of the box pretty much as you would want to play with him. Or her. Uh, maybe you might want to spread those legs out a little bit. Tails on a ball joint. Up and down. Back and forth. Is it actually a ball joint? Yes, it's a ball joint. Uh, that is similar. I think that's just up, up and down. Um, there's another ball joint there in the neck. Jaw opens, but there is no articulation per se. Really, really love the details on this. So this is BB-15. This is one of the older moulds. This has been around for quite some time. Uh, the only thing I know um, is that apparently this mould and the shark mould are both very, very similar. But the detail is magnificent. So it's a robotic crocodile, but 
the details in the bodywork are very reminiscent of an actual crocodile. I don't think it would be fair to compare this with our modern ones that we are seeing now, but the detail in this is still magnificent. Eyes of see through yellow plastic, matching the fish that it came with. This is painted on detail. And the belly is just awesome. All right, so I'm going to spend some time with this guy, figure out how he actually transforms, and I will be back with you. Before we go into the transformation, the fish, with our little boy, ball joint here, is designed to swim along on the top of him. And because it's got the ball joint, you've got some lovely articulation there as well. We are going to move the legs up and out of the way. Doing that with both of them. Then we are going to turn this around, bend it, turn the claw so that the claw is facing in to its own limb, like this. Then we're going to turn them so that the knees are facing each other. And you'll notice that these two line up. There's a hole on either side of them. And you just clip them together and then push them into the body. The other thing to note is that there's actually a sliding hinge here. So when you're pushing them together, you are manipulating that as well. So turning that around, turning that around, bending, turning that around, turning that around. Oh, nope, sorry. Turning that around, bending, up, up. and then push them into the body as far as they'll go. This neck will part. The head is on a double hinge. Folds back on itself. And then that sits like this. Doubles over. There's two nubs here that'll go in there. And there he is. So, next, we're going to separate the tail in a similar manner. Turn it 180 degrees. And we're just going to use the body to separate it. They are on a double hinge. You will need that leverage. Turn that 90. Separate the tail. Separate the end of the tail. The end of the tail will accordion down into itself like this. And then we want this that way. This will accordion down and press into place. This will accordion down. In like that. Now you need to be careful because this tail is going to be sandwiched. These come up. And it's going to sit like that. So if I separate that, you can kind of see how it's sitting. It's all just sitting there nice and loosely. We are then going to straighten the tail back up, fold it in on itself. And you can already see where these tabs are going to go. Make sure everything's nice and squeezed together. And if it fits in the box, then you've done it right. I gotta say, the transformation on this is quite fun. 
like I've only transformed this twice. It it starts a little finicky, but once you've got it, it's not that difficult. It's a really nice, solid-looking box mode. You can still see what it is. I kind of like to have it this way, because then it kind of looks like the head is pointing out. Uh, but he's a lot of fun. I make no apologies for how much I love this line. Like, honestly, I love the Beast Box line. Uh, or at least, so far, I have loved everything from the Beast Box line. Um, are some better than others? Well, yes, of course, that's the way that toy lines work. Um, I love the fact that it's all so compact. I, I, I can collect a whole heap of them, and they don't cause storage problems. Uh, it's not offensively expensive. Definitely going to have to check out the Sharks as well. I know that they're essentially the same transformation. I don't have a problem with that. Um, the heavy preference I have personally is if I have an option between different molds, I will always lean towards the one that's more realistic-ish paint-wise um, as opposed to the bright fancy colours. This is another winner. Honestly, it really, really is. Thank you to Joy Toy World. I actually purchased this from Joy Toy World myself with my own money. Um, if you want to purchase items from the Beast Box line, Joy Toy World is the website that has it. The prices are really, really good. Um, if you use the code TOYREAL, you'll get a further 5% off any items that's not already discounted. The same code also works for Cool Toys Club. Uh, they don't stock Beast Box, but they have quite a few other things. If there's things that you're looking to buy... If you find that you have the option, support the people that support us. We'd really appreciate it. It shows them that we are worth their time. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for checking it out. Subscribe, check out the socials, and we'll see you next time. This episode of Toy Reel is proudly brought to you by Cool Toys Club and Joy Toy World.